I was really confused as to why there were all these little school districts all over. And I, I could remember thinking back then, why don't they try to pool their resources and make things more seamless? Because I know uh, as a teacher in, in the community, one of the things that I always hear about from the high school is how that we don't do things right. And, and so if we were consolidated, there would be a smooth transition instructionally from kindergarten all the way up through grade 12. Um, with that said, I've read different articles about consolidation, and uh, the jury, uh, as, for, as far as what I've read, the, the jury's out on whether consolidation will bring us the cost savings that the governor is claiming because of the fact that all the other infrastructure that we currently don't have that you have to create to manage a large district. For instance, like an assisted superintendent, regional group superintendents, things like that, so, uh, le levels of management that, that we currently don't have. Um, would I like to pool resources with other communities? I don't know. I think I'd have to have more information. I, I, jo I joke with my colleagues in Beach Park saying that if I got to merge with Lake Forest tomorrow, I'd sign the paper and, you know, get all the things like that. But all joking aside, I, I think it is something that could be viable, but I think you really need to look at all the numbers and make sure that we're not spending more money doing something that uh, may not benefit us, especially being somebody who really likes the personalized small town individual attention that the staff at Westfield has given to my daughters. And you lose that coming from a school, from a community where you are really just a number. What I, we get at Westfield, uh, in my experience, has uh, leaps and bounds. You, you cannot pay for that type of service. I pr I'm against consolidation for the reason that uh, right now we're local control. Every one of you has more of a voice in a small district than you would have in a large district. It's, it's a lot easier to go in and see the superintendent here or the principal if you have a problem than it would be to go to another, another town or another community. Uh, also, by having our local control, the we control the schools, we control how good the schools are. If we're in, let's say, Zion and Beach Park together, and the taxes go up and the schools are worse, our property values are gonna go down. Because schools, <coughs> good schools, where, where there's good schools, the local, local uh, tax, I'm sorry, your local property values are higher, usually. People want to live there. It creates more of a demand for the property. So, I, I like I say, I'm against consolidation. I too am against consolidation. However, let's face it, it's in the hands of Illinois legislators right now, so it probably won't even happen for a few years. We have an opportunity to balance our budget right now. If we can solve our own problems, maybe we can become the model district in which others will follow, eliminating any consideration of consolidation anywhere. We can do it here. We have to remember and give credit to Winthrop Harbor as a community. We are a desirable community to work in and for. We have great parents, great kids, and maybe our income levels are a little bit lower, but we're, teachers want to teach here. They're not going to run away. Administrators are not going to run away because they would rather teach here than in a consolidated district. I'm against it. I don't think it's going to happen for at least five years. Um, I too am against consolidation. It's nice to live in a small community where your neighbors and your friends are teachers and people you know, people you can count on. Um, you take that all away and make it one big conglomerate. It's, it's like going from the mom and dad candy store to the big giant Walmart. Um, so I really like having our small, small district. Again, with, with consolidated districts, all of our tax rates are going to be adjusted. Um, and we're going to inherit the debt from those schools, too. So um, like Misty said about getting on the, the minivan and going, going down to Illinois, I guess I've already been voted to, to drive the bus. Um, and that's what it's going to take is, is a lot of voices letting the, the Illinois governments know that this isn't something we want and that we like the control we have now. Um, one thing that I don't think was mentioned is 
with the consolidation, the goal is to make sure that all the, the smaller districts feeding into the high school follow a similar curriculum. Um, and Dr. Geiser pointed out to me that our school board works with the other school boards in Beach Park and Zion to try to get a consistent, uh, consistent curriculum so that when they get to the high school, they're all at a very similar level. So following along with what Dee said, making Winthrop Harbor the model district and using that um, as, as a platform to approach the state legislators is a good idea. So let's try to keep it small. Well, I'm, I'm against consolidation. Uh, my opinion, we run a tight ship with what we have. And I believe the state is wasteful and they can't even run themselves most of the time. Um, and I really don't want them telling us what to do and how to do it. Um, that's why I'm involved. I mean, I, I become involved so I can make a difference and be a voice and, and try to bring out the best for our community, our kids, our teachers, property values, everything. I'm part of Winthrop Harbor and I want to do my part as a citizen, as a parent, to step up where I can and, and make a difference. And uh, I review all the bills closely and, and I care about where our money goes and how much education goes to our kids and what kind of curriculum they have. And Maybe if the state had a really good reputation of, you know, being uh, solid and strong educationally with our tax dollars, and, and it was one of the 50, or one of the best states of all the 50 to, to, to live in and go to school, maybe then I would be like, hey, you know what, any way that we can save some money and be more efficient, uh, if the state wants to help and they can do that for us, maybe. But I feel that we do a very good job and I don't feel the state does. And, um, you know, other districts, I feel that there's good kids and good teachers in other districts, but if you go by just our test scores, we're outscoring them. Um, we're doing something right here. And I, I think Dr. Geiser does a good job with the other superintendents trying to get our kids ready for the next level in high school and working together so we get on the same page. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, we are leading, and our test scores show that. And um, the more that we can work together to bring all of our kids up to a better education, that's what we're here for, right? Your teachers want all kids to succeed and, and grow up to, to be successful, and so do us parents. So um, I'm glad we're working together, but I don't want a consolidation. Um, there's a number of consolidation bills being considered, as small as what we've been heard talked about, the um, high school district, Zion Beach Park, with the Harbor Zion High School size, as well as county size. I think consolidation is bad, bad, and more bad. There's nothing good that would come out of it. Um, it's bad for our school district. We not only have a small school district that we all like, but we have a successful small school district that continually produces well-educated kids for our small dollar that we invest. We have, you know, some of our costs are lower than other districts. Um, so we do a great job with our little district, more so than just liking it. Again, it's producing a wonderful product in our students. Our students are prepared for the high school. Year after year, the kids come in at higher levels. Those math classes that are there for our kids, they come in at an advanced level. Um, it's bad for our community. Consolidation's bad for that. Our taxes are the lowest, and if we look at the one model that includes our three neighboring communities, we have the lowest tax base. If we consolidate, there's no question, our taxes will go up. We'll lose control, we'll lose a successful product that we have, and our taxes are going to go up. Again, bad, bad. Um, so do I think consolidation's a good idea? I think you guys know where I stand. It's, it's not. Um, we need to do what we can to try to maintain our local control over our successful school district that we currently have. My stance is I am against consolidation for a couple reasons. I don't. I think, uh, bottom line, we need to be proactive like everything else. We spoke earlier about needing to get out there and vote our opinions. I think we need to reach out to our representatives, voice our opinion, be proactive. Because if we're not, we're not heard. And they're going to form committees, and they're going to gather information, and there are decisions made like in any other form of the government that with the best intentions, but I don't believe this is one of them. The pros, I, I, I don't see many, and I think at this point the information out there is so limited, I don't know who would be consolidated, we'd be consolidated with. It's not concrete, it hasn't been spoken yet. 
I, I'm in fear of the increased taxes, to be honest with you. Any surrounding communities are higher. Um, and I'm concerned about having less of a voice. I am here for this reason. I, I want to be proactive and try to initiate some new ideas and support um, our school district. And if we don't have a smaller network, we're not going to have that. We're going to lose it. And if it's beyond Beach Park and Zion, I don't want to be traveling 50 miles plus. I already do that for work. I, I, I don't want to do that to go be heard at a board meeting. Thank you. Um, my husband and I had an, our daughter enrolled at St. Patrick's uh, School in Wadsworth. We actually changed our daughter this year. This is her first year in third grade at a public school. We, um, we did this because of the smaller class size. Um, our daughter is very middle ground. She's not, she's, she's very bright. She's a wonderful child. She doesn't need to be challenged as some uh, extremely um, high achievers do. She doesn't need a lot of help. Um, she is just middle ground. When she was in a group of 35 kids, she was being lost and she wasn't excelling as much as we felt that she should. She came to Winthrop Harbor Schools this first year. We were very impressed. The small class size, the teacher was excellent, um, really um, um, supported us, supported Jessica, and um, she's really excelled. She's so, uh, so much better off being in this school system than in a private one, and especially with the smaller class size. Am I in favor of the, the consolidation? Absolutely not. I don't, feel, I don't think that is good. Um, I agree, They're, the state of Illinois is not fiscally responsible. I can't even imagine that they would be um, uh, responsible enough to take care of our children. Um, the ideal of the schools being consolidated from K through 12 as a curriculum, if I think um, on a large scale, I think, wow, that's great. Um, to, to be able to have our kids reaching for a senior year curriculum in high school, that's great. Um, however, we can do that as a small, a small school, as our own freestanding school. Um, and I think that um, ultimately that uh, the consolidation would be a very bad thing. Thank you. Um, with consolidation, 